Welcome to this video about uh, the basics, the very first basics of architectural drawing. What I'm going to show you is how to draw the little house you see there in the corner in architectural drawings. Architectural drawings, of course, are a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional reality. Um, so perhaps we start with a plan. The house is a simple square house, so the plan is also square. And perhaps because of the pitched roof, we draw the ridge line of this roof. Um, so we have a plan already. The next thing we can do um, is, is draw elevations. Um, and then to do this, perhaps we start with a line for the ground, the level of the, of the, of the ground, and then we can take the measurements of the plan to the elevation. So the elevation is like this, as we can see. I'm drawing the front elevation, the elevation with the little window. Completely in the middle. Um, it's a little bit skewed. I'm going to uh, do this again. So we have an elevation with the window, um, as you can see in a little three-dimensional drawing. Here's the window. This is the front elevation. Now, um, um, to draw the side elevation, we, we need the same uh, um, measurements. So we do this at this side first, just to know the exact uh, measurements. I do the same. I take the dimensions of the side of the building. And I also know here how high the building is. So if I take this height and I, and I project it until here, I know the side elevation is like this. And then the height of the ridge of the roof comes here. So now I have a side elevation. Normally you ha we will have elevations uh, alongside each other. So I just copy this and put it next to the front elevation here. Uh, you notice that this corner, um, this elevation is, is next to this in reading order. Um, so it is as if you uh, go around the building, we have this elevation first and then this one and then this one. So you know this corner is this corner. Well, for the other side elevation, this one is simple. It can be here. And you can conclude the back elevation is more or less the same as the front elevation. Let's do the back elevation at this side. So we have a simple plan and elevations. So we know uh, what the plan lo looks like and what the elevations look like. Now, um, a building has an interior too, so I need to draw this interior. And in doing this, we can you can also see that a wall, a facade, is not a single line. A wall in reality has thickness, um, so you need two lines to represent the thickness. And it enables us to also, for example, draw um, the window in the plan. The convention is, so the, 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 um, um, uh, 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 where everybody agrees on, is that a plan is a horizontal section through a building on one meters above ground level. That's what I have here. Um, of course, we have an interior and you also want to be able to enter the building. So we need a door. Um, and I think what you can't see in the little drawing there, uh, I decided the door is here. It's a small building uh, and I, I draw the turning circle of the door. So if there's a door in the back, um, we need to draw this door in the back elevation too. There it is, with a handle maybe. Um, so we know um, the interior of the building in a horizontal plane. A horizontal plane. 
um, but perhaps we also want to know um, what the space looks like in the, f in the vertical plane. So we need at least one section. This section, um, let's decide to cut the building here. So a section is, a, is, a, is as if I slice the building in two halves and I look at one half. So I take the cut here and I'm going to draw it here. The good thing is I can again take these measurements. And I know the exterior shape, shape of the building from the elevation I've just drawn. I also know um, the walls have thickness. And now I have to decide, or the architect, the designer has to decide what the shape of the ceiling would be. Let's assume that the ceiling follows the line of the roof. So I have a section now. Um, to make this section realistic, include the, floor plan, the, the ground floor. Now it just stands on the ground. And of course, you know, uh, a building always has a ground floor and foundations. And including this makes your drawing much more realistic. We will learn more about foundations later. To continue, now until now I have only lines. Usually, um, um, to, distingu to distinguish between uh, what's open uh, and what's solid matter, solid material, um, what is solid is hatched. You can do this with a, let's say, an open hatch, for example. So I hatch the, the, the solid part of the, of the wall. You can also sometimes, it's whatever you prefer, just use a solid hatch. So completely uh, fill it in with color. Um, and you do this in the section as well. Now, um, if, um, we're almost there, or so it seems. Now the, the, the little house, you see a little house, but it's, it has a tree and a stream. So to make um, your elevations more understandable and to give a sense of, of scale, you could include elements like trees, the tree we saw there in the three-dimensional drawing, and maybe uh, uh, a human figure which gives a sense of scale. It's always a good idea. Um, and then the river um, actually indicates that this building is situated somewhere. So next to the holy trinity of plan, elevation and section, uh, the fourth drawing you always need is a situation drawing. Um, and I could, in this case, maybe uh, locate it here. Um, you always have to see how to arrange everything uh, on the space you have for your drawing. Okay, I decide to do it here. So the situation comes here um, and the situation is smaller in scale. So I have again the square plan of my building. Um, there was this little river. Assume it's like this. Maybe the tree is indicated some way. Um, and in the situation drawing, you have to um, show where the north is. So I have to include a north point, an arrow which indicates um, where the north is. Could be a kind of compass like this, so that you have north, south, uh, the west and the east. We're almost there. Um, for a reader of these plans, I have to explain what it is. So I have to include um, titles and some text. Um, so I, I, I have to include um, a title which explains what I've drawn here. Very simple, maybe. Um, in the drawings you are going to make, um, and it's usual architects, uh, sign their um, drawings as well. You have to include the author, name of the author. Uh, you have to include a date, uh, because later you want to know when this drawing has been made. For example, uh, this date 
and then uh, you have to include a scale. In this case, the scale of plans and elevations and section is or another scale than the scale of the uh, situation. So maybe in this, uh, is in this case, I need two scales. Could be that the plans are one to 100 and the situation is one to 1,000, for example. Well, and then um, I have to explain that this was the, uh, uh, the plan of the ground floor. So maybe I say ground floor. Uh, these are elevations. This is the front elevation, which is, we can see here, um, the southeast elevation, or let's say the south elevation. I'll abbreviate, like, abbreviate it like this in this case. So this is the west elevation, north elevation, east elevation, and this is the section. And with this, I concluded my first basic architectural drawing. Thank you for watching.